as you can see the check engine light is on and most likely the reason why this check engine light is on is because of this uh, oil level here see it's all the way resting on that zero so I'm guessing that it's most likely the oil pressure sensor and that's what we're most likely gonna be looking into and replacing all right today we're gonna be making a real quick video on replacing the oil pressure sensor and that is located back there so we're gonna go ahead and take this plastic off which you just pull up and slide out just like that okay so the oil pressure sensor is right back there pretty much underneath this this thing here straight down let me see if I can uh, get in there right back in let me see let me see right in this area you can see a blue and white clip that'll be the oil pressure sensor so in order to get back there with the uh, oil pressure sensor socket and ratchet I'm gonna remove two lines and it'll be this one here and this one here and it'll give me enough hand space to get back in there to remove the oil pressure sensor. This is what that uh, oil pressure sensor looks like. Now, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure, but from what I'm thinking, it's not supposed to be all covered in oil like that. Comment down below, let me know what it's supposed to look like. Um, now I'm going to be trying to get that small little filter out of there somehow. Okay, so just a quick follow up on the, the steps or, or what I did to get to this uh, oil pressure sensor. Um, well, I, had, I went ahead and started off with... Uh, Removing the two holes is that I had or two lines that I had pointed out and um, You know, I, I, I was able to remove this here This one here was a pretty quick uh, Quick way to get off you just slide that to the side and pops right off that was pretty easy The other one that I did remove that goes here that went from here towards the back that had a little white clip that you squeeze together and you pull back as you squeeze, squeeze it, pull back. Same thing when you got towards the back, you squeeze it, pull up. 
and uh, I was able to get to uh, that oil pressure sensor. Now, when I got to the oil pressure sensor, the connection, the harness, the wiring was a to take off. And I've seen and I've heard other guys, it was pretty easy, man. All credit to them. But uh, it took me a minute, it took me a while. I fought with it for a little bit, I finally got it off. Um, not so much with the sensor. The sensor did kind of give me a little fight back, but uh, we got the sensor off. So next thing after pulling that sensor off would be trying to get to the little uh, filter that, that sits right underneath the sensor. Finally got the little filter out. And what I used was a 3 8 screw. And I believe this is uh, four inches. But um, it really don't look that bad. Is it down there? Yep. It's down there and I felt it clip. I felt it grab on the way it's supposed to grab on when you push down on it. Now, we'll get that oil pressure sensor back in. New oil pressure sensor in. Now we just gotta tighten it down, finger tight, place that socket in and give it a couple turns so we can clip everything back together. Socket isn't fully on oil pressure sensor. Let's try to get it on right. Okay, socket looks like it's fully on. Let's get the ratchet connected and tighten it. We got that filter in. We got the new oil pressure sensor on. And that clip. And when you put that clip in, just make sure that you feel or hear it clip. You should be good to go. Now I'll go ahead and uh, put these hoses back on. There's another one back here. That one right there. And that one. And that one. Where is it at? Let's see if we can get that in there. There it is. That that line there is clipped in. And so is this. Now we just got to, let me see if I can get this one. Okay, real quick follow up before I start the truck. That filter was put in, the sensor was replaced and tightened the clip in the back was clipped and then I put back this line starting with the back making sure that it clipped and then bringing this up front here making sure this clipped then this line here back there making sure that clipped and battery posts back on All right, here goes a moment of truth. Everything's put back, battery's back on. We're gonna see if the truck starts and see what that 
oil gauge says. Because before we replaced that oil pressure sensor, that's exactly how that gauge looked as I was running the truck. Here it is. Oil pressure sensor gauge back where it needed to be. And no more check engine lights.